I'll be back in time for my obligations. Okay. Yo, yo have a good time. January, bro. Yeah, yeah. We yeah. have a time, man. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, man. February, I March, nothing. I got you. Okay. All right. I'm going to hold you out Kevin, today. Kevin, Kevin, yeah. Kevin. <laughs> no more shout-outs. <laughs> no more shout-outs? I got another boy. Go ahead. <laughs> no, go ahead. Nope. Nope. Mo the National Football League. Let's move on to the coaching carousel, as does the NFL. I'm going to start off with uh, – I'm going to give this to Dan. Um, Dan's the Pittsburgh Steelers fan. Um, Dan, you saw your main man, your coach, Mike Tomlin. He walked off the um, podium the other night when somebody asked him about his coaching future, and I think rightfully so because – you know, I, I think you should ask about the X's and O's, and I think that that media person uh, didn't have self awareness. So Mike Tomlin walked off. Your thoughts on him going into this next year, possibly being a lame duck? Does does the Steelers, does the Steelers brass give him a, a deal? Do they let him go? Coaches don't go. The coaches don't grow on trees. What do you do? Well, that being said, you know. I, I will say this. I see on YouTube that Snoop Dogg 100% is back in Mike Tomlin on the Rich Eisen show to come back to Pittsburgh. And if you watch that conference, you hear, like, if you see the whole thing, not what they clip, you hear the guy go, all right, anyone, anyone, anyone. And then whoever the brain, you know, the brainchild that said, hey, uh, you're going into your last year, not a he don't want to hear that shit about the season next season. He he's, he's dealing with what just happened. Indeed. And he's just like, you know what? Get a clue and walked off. And that, that like, I don't know how these guys do it because if anybody saw it, was it DeMarco Ryan's with Houston, mm -hmm. the presser he had and whoever the scholar that asked him, that how are you going to deal with the climate up in Detroit for your playoff game? Oh, yeah. Well, that was, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's, no, 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 Tampa. No, no. that's a Tampa. That's a Tampa, Tampa guy. Tampa, Tampa. Okay, that was, um, Tampa. Um, Whatever. Yeah. Ty Bolt. Right, yeah. Ty, Ty, Ty Bolt. Bolt, yes. And he just, you could see the look on his face. He was, Ty Bolt. Like, he, he wanted to laugh. Like, he's like, bitch, please. It's a dome. <laughs> they got AC and they got heat. He said, like, he said, he said, we're going to be in the cold for 20 seconds when we walk off the bus, <laughs> off the bus into the building. I'm like, that's, that's the shit these guys got to deal with. Yeah. So for him to walk off, I, I don't blame him at all, but honestly, like I called for his head only in the fact that if he was going to be that loyal and not get rid of the OC, who was absolute dog shit, then if he won't let him go, then let them both go. Was, was, was my thought on that. He's a great coach. He's a, a little bit above 500 coach every year. And for the Steelers, the organization, they wanted him until he wants to leave. They're, it's not. They're always, and, and they're always like that, though, man. They're so loyal to their coaches, man. Their head yeah. coaches. They but, had like, what, four? No, they're like, they're, three. Three. Three? three? Since, wow. since I was born. Chuck Knoll, yeah. Bill Cower, and Mike Tomlin. Yeah. That's, That's amazing. Great. That's amazing, man. Yes. They they give the leniency and the rope for these guys to do what they need to do. They're not like Jerry Jones. They're not like David Tepper. They don't meddle in the shit and, and right. try to run the team mm -hmm. on the field. They mm -hmm. let the coaches do their thing. What, but what, like Coach T, this is a pivotal year in the fact that they normally don't spend money on coordinators. They don't spend money on extra staff, whether it be special teams, defense, offense. Like they have their position coaches, but you see like San Francisco, they got a coach for everything. And they need to spend them. They need to go out and get a top name offensive coordinator that knows what he's doing. Like Kubiak, that's the quarterback coach or whatever for San Fran. I would love to see him come in and put that type of offense in the Pittsburgh because they have the, the weapons at those positions like San Francisco does. Yep. They've got the Pickens. They've got Deontay Johnson. They got Najee. They got uh, Jalen Warren. Warren. Yeah. They got Washington at tight end. They got Fryermuth at tight end. They have the weapons. And I would love to see them re-sign Mason. Because I think under this, like, here's the thing. If we didn't have Mitch, 
and they didn't try to force feed him to Steeler fans and put his ass out there when he sucked. Like when Kenny got hurt against Mike's Ravens, we were up. He threw what? Three fucking interceptions in a row. Yep. <laughs> and we and we lost that game. So and you see what Mason did when he came in. He's been there 6 years. He knows the offense. Now, if you bring in a different coordinator, then everybody has to learn the offense. But that being said, spend some money on some coordinators and extra coaches. Bring in Heinz Ward at the receiver. Teach Pickens how to block. And they 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 have the talent. Indeed, like they do. we were we were absolutely demolished at linebacker and in the defensive secondary at the end of the year. And somehow we still won three or four. So in my opinion, he needs to get the coach of the year for what he did with the team he had and the coordinator bullshit that they had to put up with. Because you saw once they got rid of Canada, they put up the most yards they ever put up in the last four years. They scored back-to-back 30-point games with Mason. Yep. So the talent's there, and then the play is there. You have to call the plays to put them in a position. Like sure. jet sweeps, get the fuck out of here. That That's yep. college. It's you can't beat teams sideline to sideline now. They're too damn fast. Yeah. Just ask the Cowboys. If you try to run anything wide on them, mm. you're losing yards. But you run right at them, you run the fuck over them. So you have to call plays to your strengths. And once they went to under center, you know, handing the ball off to Najee under center, they, they started running the, like we were one of the best running teams at the end of the year out of the entire NFL. That, that's that simple. And I guess we'll have a football education show one day, but that's what works, right? So you're not four yards in the backfield giving yeah, the ball you can't, to the running back. You can't hand the ball off to Najee from the shotgun because you, yeah, you already put him right. in a disadvantage because he's already on the one side of the field or the other. Right. You have to have him behind so he can pick either side and run to the hole. And, he, and he's not a speedster. No. Like, you know, that's, he's he, he's yeah. he's – King Henry, you know, but sure. but at the beginning of his career, he's he's yeah. not the same type of player that you know Henry is right now. But he has that ability to get there if you feed him the ball in correct positions and give him an avenue to run to, and not just you know put him on one side of the field or the other. So Tomlin coming back, I love it. I want them to hire some, you know, a good big name offensive coordinator, somebody that has, you know, a San Francisco type offense to where we can exploit the talent that we already have in the building. Gotcha. I read today that they said Tom was saying he's not promoting within whatever offensive coordinator he's getting is coming from elsewhere. Yeah, he's done well, they have to. Like yeah. Sullivan and the other dude. They, they did an admirable job taking over in the middle of the season and getting that offense on track. But with their, like, I think, I can't remember the other guy's name, but, you know, the, the other dude, like, had called plays. I think Sullivan's the one was calling plays. But he had called plays in the past, but it was like seven, ten years ago. But what they did, you know, was a good job under the circumstances because we never fire anybody in season, ever. Mm. Let alone fire anybody ever. Yeah, they keep them around until you know they decide it's time for them to go, or you know they're no longer breathing. But that's you know the Steeler way; they're loyal. But please, please, please hire somebody that has a clue to how to run the offense. Mm. Well, it's not Matt Canada, right? It'll be a long time before he coaches in the NFL again. <laughs> Damn. Well, that was three years. Everybody got to see that. Yeah. That's definitely true. Yo, uh, well, Mike, your your Baltimore Ravens. They gotta play the Houston Texans this weekend. What you got? Man, we gonna win that game. What you mean? What what else is there to be said? I mean, they say Marlon Humphrey might not play, so that might okay. be interesting because you know CJ Stroud like to launch it down the field. But I think you know we done had some rest. 
We should be getting some guys back full speed. Mark Andrews supposed to be out there playing. I mean, even if he don't really do too much, even if he decoy, like we've been going crazy anyway. So it's not like we missed it too much at tight end. So with or without him, I think we'd have been okay. I just want to see if Dalvin Cook got any gas in the tank because he looked cooked in New York. I don't know what that was with signing him all late. I'd rather we just stuck with Melvin and not use them than go get right. somebody that was cooked. So I mean, I think he's gonna be all right. You think so? Right, yeah. The reason why is because the Jets didn't have an offensive line, so he couldn't really do anything there. Um, he still got cast. He was on the yeah. practice squad, I think, for the last four weeks. So. With that being said, now he knows plays. He don't know them all, but the, there are two things that Dalvin Cook could do. He had good eyes and could see. He was great at blitz pickup. So, you know, he just might be brought up to blitz pickup. And he can catch at the backfield. Know, so. He can catch. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I think he'll add, and he doesn't fumble. I think he'll add, and he just may take some carries and give you some rest on the way to the Super Bowl, which I believe that's where you're going either way. So. And not- Everybody got everybody got to come to you, brother. Not, so everybody got to right, and not, and not only that, he's gonna have more running lanes because that's Lamar back there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's Lamar. So so they're gonna be keen on Lamar, you know, his 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 quarterback runs and stuff like that. So that's gonna open up lanes uh, for, for for running backs. So yeah, so uh, I mean, it I don't think it it didn't hurt to try. You know what I'm saying? So we'll right. see. Right. Well, see, we keep the tie. The season's almost over. So. Yeah. yeah, but like I said, he was on the practice squad, right? So the fact that he was on the practice squad and they decided to bring him up and put him on the roster means that someone else got cut. So that means that they believe that there's something there. And I did read today somewhere that he is playing. Like, he will get snaps this weekend. But you got to figure, too, he played for the Jets. And, you know, how much effort or passion are you going to have, you know, to go out there and perform <laughs> when like nobody's blocking in front of you, right? And but remember, and though, he, he signed with the Jets when Aaron Rodgers was still right. there, and he's playing behind Brees so. Hall too. Yeah, I mean, yeah. So for him, like my biggest question, and we had discussion before we got on the air, before most of you guys were on here, is they have a tread de- deadline, and if you don't get traded by that deadline, you can't play in the playoffs, right? But if you, but if you get cut after that date, somehow. You're eligible for the playoffs if another team yeah. picks you up, which you I think waivers. Is, which yeah. is complete horseshit. There should be a hard date for all of that, and not that I even care. I just think I, I agree court, with you. Not yeah. even just it's Baltimore, any team. I just think that's crazy that if you put a hard date, that if you don't, you know, you're on the roster and you don't get traded yeah. by a certain date, you can't play in the playoffs for another team. But if you get caught, all of a sudden you're free game. I think that's that's a wild to me. Yeah, loophole. Yeah. Real quick, uh, angry one. What you got? Um, Houston versus Baltimore. Well, Who I, you got? I, I got Baltimore, but I, I'm 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 scared. I mean, I'm not even a Baltimore fan, but I'm scared because uh, um, outside of Josh Allen, there's nobody else in the NFL that has more pressure on them to perform and deliver a Super Bowl than Lamar Jackson. Mm-hmm. Um, I feel like he's very deserving of it. However, you got to go get it. Mm-hmm. And a team like the Texans, as hot as they are, people got to remember, yes, Lamar and the running game, yes, it's dynamic. However, you're facing a coach in D'Amico Ryans who's seen and, and played against all of that. Mm-hmm. So I'm quite sure that he's going to have these guys ready. Yes, they're young and all that other stuff, but they're hungry too. They get paid too. So let's not act like Houston is just going to get ran up out of there. Uh, I think there's going to be a very good game. Might be the best game of the weekend, but uh, Baltimore, <laughs> tread lightly. All right. Don't sleep. I got you. Real, real quick. Hey, we got we got, we got an uh, express train on this one. Hey, DA, uh, Buffalo, I and mean, we got something to talk about this. Buffalo and Kansas City, who you got? Uh, yeah. it's, a t- it's a tough one. Yeah, yeah I, I don't know. I, I um, it's it's I, KC's I Josh, first road game give, for my homes. Yeah, right. I, I will I will give I will give Josh. No, no, Kansas. <laughs> man, they're, they're just, <laughs> there you go. Oh, you don't believe you did that. You knew you that the believe. whole time. You don't believe <laughs> he's playing. No, because Buffalo's defense is really ass. Okay, mm-hmm. that okay. that's just the reality of it, man. But so okay. is KC's that's offense. Just the reality of it, you know, so I, I think. Um, 
Mahomes will find a way because that's what he does. Okay. And I think Allen will go back to throwing the ball to dudes in red jerseys or white jerseys, whatever color they wear. The other opposite of what he's wearing. He's going to give up to. And gotcha. you have to figure that the weather doesn't matter because they just played well, in the coldest game ever in Kansas absolutely. City. Absolutely. So yeah. go go on the Buffalo and, and, is not going to be like Miami going the Buffalo. And the reality is, Spaz knows Josh Allen. Mm-hmm. Right, but the but the only thing with that, yeah, they, they're they're you know, both teams like the cold. Miami didn't like the cold, and that was evident. So they're not going to have that advantage because Buffalo is used to the cold as well. Exactly. So yeah. real quick, Ryan, who you who you got real quick? And I'm gonna get it around to you before I throw it back to Kev. Got it. Oh man, I'm going Buffalo. Buffalo. I'm going Buffalo Dan, at home. Dan, who you got? First off, everybody, go to CBS, get your picks in before yeah. you, before yeah. these games happen this weekend, and we'll get into to the poll how everybody's doing here at the end. But I'm going Buffalo just for the mere Buffalo. fact that this is Casey Mahomes' first road game, and Josh Allen will fake slide his way again into the end zone. Speaking of that, before oh, before I get back oh. to that, uh, angry one, who you got? Um. Uh, I'm gonna take them off of Fraud Street. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go Buffalo, but just like I said about Dallas last week, boy, if y'all lose, boy, We're if coming. y'all lose, I, I think that, that confidence, the confidence is gonna be at an all time low in that for that organization with this current team, and they might have to look within and start making some changes because obviously something ain't working. I'm going gotcha. Buffalo, Mike, but Buffalo, Mike Mills, who you got? I'm going Kansas City. I killed, I told y'all plenty of times. Buffalo is not built for the weather they play in. Somebody mm-hmm. gonna crack Josh Allen on those stupid slides, and the game is gonna be over. So going to Kansas City, Buffalo. and they Kansas don't City. run the ball well. Mm-mm. Thirteen times a game. Well, listen, I'm going. I'm going with Buffalo to get the win. Now, um, before I give it back to Kev, I had to go. I was talking to Da earlier. I'm sick of these quarterbacks sliding, fake sliding. Uh-oh. And, and the defense can't hit you. That's something that has to change when they go into winter meetings or whatever whatever meetings they go into that, and to, to check to stop this because that's a disadvantage to the defense already. Correct. It is, that's yeah. a good point because on several times in, in the Miami-Kansas City game, when uh, Mahomes is running, they didn't know if they, to hit him or not hit him. Hit him, not hit him. Yeah, it was like, that, I'm like – These yeah. guys are so scared to, you know, they coughing up money. And and I don't blame him because you you hit me in my pockets, and I don't know if the guy's going to slide. And if he's Mahomes is good for tippy toeing down the line, yeah. And then Da guy hit him anyway. The the issue, yes, well, that's hit what I would have anyway. done if I was playing right. But the, the the part about this that's really effed up is the fact that when Cameron Newton was playing quarterback, mm. what they would tell the world he's is too big. Once the well, no, they would say once the quarterback leaves the pocket. Free game. He's, He's a running run, right? Yeah. You see, you see what they did right. to uh, Fields this year. Nobody said a word. But, hey, yeah, that dude can't get a but, call. But word. now, you look and you see that if you hit a dude while you think he's sliding, he might slide. Even there's a real. I've seen real good tackles on quarterbacks when they were going out of bounds in his 15 yard flash. It's crazy. The NFL is very inconsistent in what they're doing. And it's hurting their game, like a lot of other calls. So go ahead, Dan. I just got one thing. They changed the rule in college football for what Kenny Pickett did. And yes. I think it was the change. Well, three years, three years one ago. One of the for, for, for the fake fake slide. Josh yeah. Allen did the same exact thing on the 52 yard touchdown they got. Later on, Miles Jack got a penalty for lighting him up. Because he slid late. So it's like the guy fake slides, you let him go, he scores a touchdown. He slides late, you hit him, you get the penalty. What the fuck are you supposed to do? A, a, a Cincinnati, a Cincinnati uh, Bengal last year during the what's that, the, the championship um game. Remember he got called? Um he hit my it, it, it was late, but oh, like, out of bounds. Yeah, yeah, out of bounds, right? But like D dub says, you know, Mahomes does that nonsense of tippy toe to the sideline. Is he gonna go in and go out? So I'm with I'm with y'all on that where they need to closely look at this 
and and penalize the offensive team. If you want to give yourself up, you got to give yourself all the way. If you don't, you'll be penalized 15 yards from the spot of the foul. Oh, now, my thing is this: don't, the, the running backs don't get to slide. Word, I say, it, it, I'm, anyway. market, exactly. I'm going to nail you. I'm going to urge you. If you run point blank, period, end. Quarterback or not. Personal foul, number it seven. It only take one. If I hit you hard enough, you're not going to come. You're not doing that shit again. Defense. I'm going to hit you one good time. You, quarterback. You got, you got to take a hit. You got to yeah, take the you, hit for the you team. You want to protect the quarterback. But as soon as he leaves the pocket, no slide. That's on him. You take yeah. the hit like everybody else does. Hey, yo, dog, I don't give a fuck if you do slide. I'm, I'm going to hit you. Yes, it was me. I'm glad it found me. It was me. Because the rule in the book says once a quarterback leaves the pocket, he's a running back. There was never no such thing as he gave himself up. Right. Because the running back can't give themselves up. A tight end can't give themselves up, nor can a wide receiver. So the reality is, if we're going by the rules, quarterback leaves the pocket. Junior makes a good point, and we're going to have to ride. Right, I'll get you, Ryan, in a second. Oh, no, no, he was, no, he was talking about how the current NFL, nobody knows how to hit, and tackling is very poor either. If you saw Bradbury the other night, I don't know what oh, that was. The entire oh, Eagles I mean, secondary. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, that was well, awful. Part of that is because yeah. of these damn rules that they've implemented just to boost right. up the fucking offense. Come That's on, okay. we know what it That's is. Okay. There, was, there was a bunch of orange cones in their backfield. These guys, it was just like running a drill. Nobody fucking tackled anybody. What, what is a defenseless receiver? You should penalize the fucking quarterback for throwing the ball that high, making the guy jump over the middle of the damn field where their linebacker's at. Junior, Junior, I'm with you. They they don't practice anymore. They don't. They they took away all of that stuff. Practice. And, wow. But, but if, Tom, Tom Brady, Brady said that. Yep. Tom Brady said yep. that. He said, yo, that's on the quarterback. You, you can't throw that. it in a position to put your yeah. guy in danger. That's why I don't throw certain passes. And, That's and exactly he, what he said. Like, uh, we, 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 discussed the pra- we discussed the practicing thing a million times, dog. It's a union thing, and the ones who rule the unions are who? The old guys. The old guys. The, old guys, the veterans. So what happens with the contract is Michael Strahan did not want to practice. It wasn't the young guys, Kev. It was Michael Strahan. That's a fact. That's a fact. The old dudes in the union at the time that said, we don't want to practice these days. Or if we do, we don't want to hit. The young dudes were like, yo, I've been hitting in college. We do. We still do two a days in college. Hmm. The young kids get to the league. They don't care about hitting. That's what they do. So that's why they go to Paris, huh? But when you're 35 years old, <laughs> you don't you don't want to do that no more. When you're 35, you don't want to hit. You know, you, you don't want to hit when you're 35. Ryan, go ahead. You you had your you had your yeah. hand, bro. Go ahead. Yeah. Also, too, man, what what's what's been a domino effect? You know, because we're talking about hitting and you know defensive uh, defensive players and things of that nature. Because of the you know the the emphasis on CTE, the head injuries, you've seen a lot of people getting their knees blown out, bro. And if you and if you ask players. Higgins rather, or Higby yeah, or, right, or the Rams. Right, right, yeah. I'm like, yes. uh, yeah, like, if you ask players, right, do you rather hit me up high than up low? Because, you know, it, it's – these knee shots, man, are like it's, – it's like they're going straight for God, uh What happened to uh, um, to Nick Chubb um, um, against the Pittsburgh guy? Like he just like he it's like a, a like a knee shot, man. Like well, they gotta the, outlaw that, man. The real, the real shit is this, man. Usually, and this is what the, the truth is, you're going for their thighs, right? Because if you go high, <coughs> helmet the helmet the helmet, right? You're gonna get not only apparently you're gonna get fined, right? Right. So what happens is when a running back, quarterback, anybody is running the ball, when you're about to tackle them, they go low, they dip, low man wins. That's what you're taught to do. Right, so the right, defense, right. if you have your head, you're looking at that man's chest, and you're, you're you're about to tag him in the chest. That's what you're looking at. When he starts to dip, his head be, was, was was where his chest was at. Right. So I get what, it. So what they do is you hit him in the thighs, but gravity is 9.8 meters per second on all things at all times. So when you're looking at his thighs and you jump in the air to hit. You dip some too, yeah, and that's why you get hit. That's why you hit them in the knees. It's so just, hard, man. Yeah, it's they hard. get in a real bad wow. position. 
the the NFL Pro Bowl is going to be what the regular season is going to be in a couple of years. Yeah, flag football. And I believe this is some some what the powers of be want. One hundred percent. I said it. I said it. Yeah. Listen, we got to go. We have one last person. Go ahead. We got to go. Did we, we say defenders of the fans? Uh, well, we no. We no not, longer, that's no. not going. We're the no, we're no longer the defender of the fans. We're the real sports uh, uh, fans um, headquarters. That's what we are now. We gave up that moniker for those, yeah. as y'all can see, the logos, the pretty logos up there. Uh, no, we are no longer the defenders of the fans. Fans, you are on your own. You have to find another um, state attorney or, or somebody to represent you because um, – we're not we're not defending none of that stuff no more. So you got to make up your own mind. Vote with your dollars, all of that good stuff. We before, told you before before we um sign off here. I didn't give my picks for the division. I, I want to give my, my my picks here. I'm picking the Bills. I'm picking the Lions. I'm picking the Niners, and I'm picking the Ravens. They're all the home teams playing. But uh, chalk, chalk. So so how's the scoring going in that league so far? Which league? What are you talking about? The CBS Pick'em. Dan, me, Dan, you must be winning, huh? Hey, <laughs> right, right, right. This guy has harassed me all week. Hey, who, who's winning? The hockey dude, the hockey dude. The hey, guy. Hey, you got to talk your shit when you can. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> what a, what a really great show. Great, a great show, man. We went over a little bit, man. Uh, we still didn't even get to. Um, I, my, listen. Um, all those that got Apple um products, man. You better update your computer when you're supposed to, because I didn't and. That's what happened, and I was like, "Wow, what happened?" And I think updated right in the middle of the show, but um, I guess I'm good now, and uh, I should be all good. So we didn't get to go over. We we're supposed to do a hit and uh, hit and miss um, segment. We'll do that next week. But um, man, it's a it's a pleasure to come before you um and and talk some sports, which we all love to do, as you can see on this panel. We have a full house tonight. All seven of seven of us is in the house, and I'm so greatly appreciated to. All, all of the guys, man, coming through and talking sports, man. So, hey, we're going to um, do some parting shots. I'm going to start with the DA. DA, parting shots for this week. What you got for us, man? Don't do drugs. Niners are going to win. Okay. All right. All right. He's on his Nancy Reagan stuff. Duh. Don't do drugs, and Niners will win this weekend. Thank you, DA. Appreciate you. The angry one. What you got for us tonight, man? Sporting his, his Brooklyn uh, Nets hat. Is that a Nets hat? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Gotcha. Um, yo, nothing too heavy, man. Yo, as 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 always, it's a pleasure to be up here, uh, talking sports with you guys. Ryan, appreciate you as always. Uh, appreciate everybody in the comments, everybody out there in viewership land, podcast land, all that good stuff. Hey, yo. Um, yeah, nothing, nothing too heavy, man. Um, shout out to uh, Mr. McCarthy for still somehow keeping a job. Not his fault. Yeah, yeah, that's all I got, man. That, I, yeah. 36 yeah, and 15 in the last yeah, three. Yeah, he went 12 and, 12 and 5, man, every 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 year. That's not bad. Uh, 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 okay. I, mean, I like mediocrity. Go ahead. I mean, hey. They uh, haven't won uh, in 30 years, bro. I mean, they meet. <coughs> owner, owner, owner. Yeah. That's the running, back killer. running back killer. Running back killer. Okay, that's, yeah. that's all I got, Kev. Go ahead. Man. I ain't gonna get man, that what you got for us, bro? Uh, great show, Ryan. Always good to see you, Mikey. Good to see Absolutely, you. Absolutely, brother. Thank you, brother. James, Dorian, D Dub, Kevin. Awesome show. Here we go. And Cowboys. <laughs> Cowboys are at the golf course. Yeah. Let's go. Oh, that was so that's so annoying, man. Right here. So annoying. All right. Here, here we go. go. Here we go. Here we go. That's, oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. Here we go home. Here we go home. <laughs> and the best part, the best part was Jordan Love at the end of the game with the last kneel down. All right, here we go. Boom. He, he did that? Yes. Yes. He did. Yes, he yes. did. If, if Junior oh, can put it, can pull it up for us real quick before we can go. Awesome. Yeah. Yo, yeah, I didn't know he did that. Oh, I didn't know he did awesome. that either. Because y'all all turned. Yeah. Football, football You're not is, real is a combat sport. The game. Combat sport. The hockey Combat guy sport. watched the whole game. Come on. <laughs> That's Dan, the hockey dude. Mike Mills, what you got for us so we, before we get out of here, man? What you got? Um, Nothing major. Glad to be here. Glad to see everybody. As Scotty Barnes clears this leg of my parlay, let's hope Jalen Brunson stays under 30. And that's it. Nice. 
I've been getting um, my ass kicked in these parlays, man. Mike is talking about something. We got something um in, in the nearby future. We're we're trying to partner with somebody, so look out for that. Uh, we know there's a bunch of uh, you folks that like to gamble on certain things, and like you know, in your right office now. pool right and now. all that stuff. So we got something in the works for some of you folks. Um, we're gonna try to collab with um, um, some folks, man. D Dub, what you got for us, man? Thank you, Mike. Yo, nothing, man. Other than that, good show. Glad to see everybody. Um, nothing too heavy. Here. Everybody be good. Have a good weekend. Stay warm. It's gonna be cold next couple of days. Um, wherever you have, if you're, I guess, and not in Florida. Oh, what's this? Homegirl Debbie D. I didn't get to talk about them Dallas Cowboys, but you know, I think Debbie, we, Debbie D. Yeah, yeah, De <laughs> yeah. The Cowboys, man, terrible. But anyway, you know, Mike McCarthy's coming back. You know, hey, yeah, they're gonna run it back. They're gonna you know, run it back. I don't know how you're gonna run it back. You never, you never went nowhere. <laughs> you run it back in the trash. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they, you never went nowhere to, to run it. They got they got to get, get a running back, in the man. First round. Running back? What he do is kill running backs. What? No, 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 no. Yeah. The, Pollard, no, they got they Pollard's not an every down back, bro. He can't. He can't. That's he can't run between the tackles. Yeah. I'm talking about the history of running back bones in the graveyard before him. Yeah, man. It, it's, yeah, it's, Zeke, it's that, Zeke was all right. No, nah, no, nah, but you know, overall, it's just it was it's super embarrassing for this team. This team is you know maybe. Every year, as, every year is not as good as we, you know people think. Yeah, I mean, Owner. you know, it is what it is. But uh, we'll see them next year. And and, and shout out to the Philadelphia Eagles. Oh. I told I I said I didn't have nothing to say. Hold on, shout hey, out Brad, to the Philadelphia. That <laughs> NFC, that NFC trash East was ass. All yeah. of it. All yeah. of it. Yeah, that's what that, exactly what it proved. NFC but East was not that great. How do you want to fire the coach already? Though he went to the Super Bowl last year. And yeah, went, I think I think that's like, cap. I think that's cap. On, I don't man. think a, I, I think there's a problem in the locker room. Me and Da has spoken about this. I, yeah, definitely a problem somewhere in that locker room. Don't know where they are saying. I've heard is coach and quarterback. Not a hundred percent sure, but mm. that's the word. That's the rumor on the street. So uh, well, mm, we'll see. Yeah, go ahead. I was just saying, no, go ahead, D. Go ahead. Go ahead. Usually the D coordinated D the D coordinated deals with the quarterback. You got a mm -hmm. new D coordinator. All that broke down. So, like I said, you can't lose both of your damn coordinators and think you're going to be as good. Yep. That's just, yeah. you know, the math is not, yeah. as Mike would say, the math is not mathing. Math you, is you, not you, mathing. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Definitely a disconnect. But, yo, yeah. good show, everybody. Uh, appreciate all. Appreciate everybody in the comments. Um, thank you for watching. Um, and I'll uh, see you next week. See you Monday. Yep. The angry one, what you got for us? Appreciate you, Kev. You already got me. You don't want me to go on another one. Yeah, you got me. You want to behave. 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 Ryan, what you got for us? Because he be like, yo, you forget me again. It's going to be me. Ryan, what you got? I know you got, bro. No, nah, man, always, man, I really appreciate what you guys are doing, man. Like I, I always say, this is not something easy to do, man. You guys are doing it. You guys are consistent. You guys are thorough. Well, um, uh, shout out shout out to your super producer. Um, you know, Junior, shout out to him as well. You guys are, you know, just have a fantastic platform. Thank you for always extending that to me. And um, I really appreciate you guys, man. And um, have a good weekend. Hey, Ryan, it's not you guys. It's us guys. You're part of oh, it. Oh, my yeah. bad. Yeah. Yeah. There, you, there you go. Yeah. Appreciate there you, brother. You yeah. Part of that. Yes, sir. Appreciate yeah. you, brother. Yeah, because we need you. somebody to talk about them NBA guys. I, mean, <laughs> yeah. you, I don't want it. I need you. I need you to get that logo. I need you to get that logo up in the back. He got yeah, yeah. Ryan, you got to get that logo up in the background, man. You, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ke Kevin going to help me out with that, man. He's going to yeah, help yeah. me out. Yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. We're going to get it right at the show, man. Um, Appreciate the love, fellas. Thank you, Ryan, so much. Anytime I call Ryan, Ryan comes through, man. Appreciate it, brother. Thank you so much, man. I don't have anything heavy. It's um just great and a pleasure to come before you again. Thank you for all those in the comments. Thank you for all those on YouTube, all those that have list are listening on the podcasting side. Thank you. A couple uh, announcements. Our show will be on next Wednesday because uh, a couple of us will be in PodFest next weekend. Um um, at a conference there, you know, getting some podcasting um, things and networking. And, and so we're going to have a good time meeting other podcasts. Where, with where's other, that at? Um, in Orlando, man. It's in Orlando. It's going to be in Orlando? 
Yeah, man. Oh, yeah, man. shoot. Yeah. Oh, okay, wait, wait. Let me find out. We got to get you a, a what you call man. Yeah, we can talk at the show, man. We... Yeah. <laughs> but uh, man, yeah. So we'll we'll be on next Wednesday, man, and we'll be in Orlando. Um, like I said, um, networking with other podcasters from different um, genre, genres, man, and 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 making it do what it do, man. So next Wednesday will be our stand alone, our standalone um, ninety minute show, which is not ninety minutes tonight. Uh, <laughs> fourth and short will always be will be on Monday at seven. 30 and um so so appreciate each and every one man and um man we're trying to make the, we're trying to grow this thing man if you love sports you really love sports man tell somebody about the show share the show man um dm the show man yo shout out to those on tiktok you know instagram man you know you're, you're liking the clips hey come through and, and, and hang out for us on you know those 90 minutes and we're on the fourth and short on the mondays man but I don't have anything else. I'm not going to belabor the point, man. We're going to get on out of here. I got a full show tonight, so I got to say everybody's name. So I'm going to start with, hey, on behalf of myself, I'm Kevin O'Wan, your host and moderator for